What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video I'll show you a simple method on how to draw G-Max Pikachu from Pokemon. Now for this lesson we want to give our character a little bit of a dynamic pose, giving him a little bit more weight as he shifts his body towards the right. So let's start over on the left side of the page. We're going to bend the body going up towards the top of the head and then back down on the right side. So let's start right here. We go up, let's round out the head, come across, and now we're just going to bring that down to right about there. Now our character is going to be standing on its right foot. So let's go back to the left side. We're going to bend the body going up and out. Rounding this out, going out towards the hip. Let's round out the bottom of the body. And I'm just going to pull that in to right about there. Let's add that fold across the bottom of the body. So we're going to step up, put this down, go across, and then out towards the base of the right leg. Let's add one more fold. So we're going to step back, come down, and then in towards the ankle. Now I'm going to go back up towards the right side and just round out the body. Go straight down, bend this out. I'm going to round out the leg and pull that in, sort of aiming towards this line. Now I want to place the foot in underneath the body. From this point, I'm going to step in, curve the leg, coming out and down towards the heel. Just round out the bottom of the foot, coming down and then out. Let's round out the foot. Just pull this up and in underneath the body. Now you want to separate the toes with two curves. So we'll start with the one on the outside, step in and draw that again. Now because this character is standing on its right foot, we're going to lift the left leg up inside the body. So let's start with the bottom edge of the foot. We're going to start up here, draw almost like a half oval. We're going to come down towards the heel and we'll bend that back up towards the same height. Let's add three toes along the top. We start with the side toes, right up the top, come down on the inside. Let's add one more toe in the middle. Now because we raised the foot, we're gonna add a fold along the inside of the leg. Let's start on top of that inside toe, curve the leg coming in and then down. Let's add the arms along the side. Let's start on the left side, then the arm comes in and then down. Let's line this over on the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to add three little fingers on the end. Just three points. And then round out the bottom of the arm and then go back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Adding those three fingers, round out the bottom of the arm and go out. Now let's go all the way up towards the top of the head and draw two circles along the side for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left, go all the way around, and then back up. Let's line this up on the right, going around, and then up. Let's add two small circles along the top for a highlight. I'm just going to pull these towards the inside, and then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black, going around those highlights. Now I'm going to go in between the eyes and draw on the nose. Start with a short line going across. And I'm just going to draw a small upside down triangle and fill that in black. From the tip of the nose, we're going to step down and draw on the mouth. We start right in the middle, bend this down toward the left, and just curl that up, aiming towards the eye. Go back to the center and do the same thing over on the right. Now on the side of the head, underneath the eyes, we're going to draw two ovals for the cheeks. Let's start up against the edge of the head, all the way down, go up, and then back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. And now we're going to add the ears along the side of the head. Let's start directly above the left eye, bend the ear going up, and then out. Start on top of the right eye and do the same thing. Now from the tip of the ear, bend this down and then in. So it gets wider as you come back in towards the head. Now I'm gonna separate the tip of the ears with the curve, coming in and then down on both sides. And then we'll fill in the ends black.
Now you want to add those three groups of clouds along the top of the head. So we start right in the middle with the first one. We'll start over on the left side. Start with a C shape. All the way around and back in. Now along the top, we're going to add a series of curves going around and then down in a curve. Going up and then down. Now these curves are going to get gradually smaller as you go over towards the right side. So just going to bend that down and then curl that up on the end. Let's go to the bottom, go in the opposite direction. Coming around and again, just getting smaller as we go out towards the right. Let's add another cloud on the outside of the ear. We're going to start at the very top with a circle with an open end along the bottom. Now on the left side, we're going to curve these clouds going in behind the head. Adding the little curves and just going in. Let's go to the outside. Now the spacing is going to get narrower as you come in towards the head. Now before we draw on the left cloud, let's add in the tail. We're going to start right in the middle at the very top. Start with a straight angle line, going up and then out. On the right side, we're going to angle this down and in behind the cloud. Continue down in towards the head. Go straight out towards the side. Let's continue working our way along the inside of the tail. From here, angle this down and in towards the head. And you go out to the side, going up and out. Down and in. And continue to add the staircase pattern. Add one more and then come down. Now we go up to the left side, come down in behind the cloud, draw a short line coming out. I'm just going to follow those lines going all the way around the outside. And finally, just pulling this down. Let's add one small point on the end. Let's trace these lines along the inside. Start from the bottom. Just going to leave an even gap all the way around. Now with the tail in place, let's add that third cloud going in behind. We're starting the end. We're going to start small with a backward C. From the top, we're just going to work our way around. I'm just going to bend that back in towards the side of the head. Again, making these curves a little bit bigger as we come in. Now we're going to go to the inside and come down. Let's go back up to the top and then just work our way along the top. Let's add a few smaller cloud particles in between. And then we'll sign our art and a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw GMAX Pikachu from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more Pokemon with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.